record sales exceeding 100 million. They've recorded 44 British hit singles. They've made more than 100 appearances on that British music institution, Top of the Pops, more than any other group. And now with nearly 30 years in the business, they're back on tour. They've just released uh, their new single, Restless. Please welcome, bright as two buttons, <laughs> <laughs> Greg Parfit and Francis Rossi, and status quo, rare indigo this as you morning. As say, rare indigo. Well, I tell oh. you, you missed your vocation. You should have been breakfast time presenter. Yeah, I think we were, you were right. Mm. When do you, I mean, when do you have a social life? I just don't go to bed. You don't? I reckon that's the way because... Well, you look well on no sleep there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's that your face up then. Someone's doing it. Liquid lunches. <laughs> I'm yeah. only 17, I just... You know, look, you look just look about age. 19. That's it. That's really it. Talking about age, thirsty work <laughs> is uh, is the title of, of the tour. Is it increasingly thirsty work the older you get doing this? <laughs> Not business? really. No, I mean the actual um, physical demand required for the. Um, for the stage set is, is, is not too bad, really. We do anything between an hour and 45 and, and two hours, and uh, it comes fairly easy. We've done it plenty of times before. And it's all the travelling as well that goes worst, with it. That's the worst part about it. If, um, if you could eliminate the travelling and the sitting around, it'd be great, because the actual time spent on stage is fab. Yeah. But sitting around and the travelling and bits and pieces. You better get used to it. You bought your two months gone. How, how, how <laughs> far further gone than that? You don't worry about that. Our <laughs> age, it's dangerous to be two yeah. months gone. Apparently. We started off in, in Barcelona two, two months or so ago. Uh -huh. And uh, Ipswich tonight. Barcelona to Ipswich. Well, hey, well, what can I say? What can I say? Well, now, listen, we're going to unplug well, you here crack. this morning. It's not what they say in the music. <laughs> now, you're going to sing a wee uh, song for us called Gerdin, Gerdin Dula? Well, if you like. Is that it? Yeah. Is that it? Uh, what, what does that mean? No, no. We were out in Germany <laughs> many, many, many years ago. We were in Germany, and uh, uh, we saw a sign which said Umleitung, which in Deutsch means um, uh, oh. diversion. Yeah. So we'd written a song, and we thought, well, that sounds good. So we'll call it diversion. Then we met this, this couple, an extremely nice couple. Mm -hmm. um, her name was Ula, and his name was, was Gert. And uh, we'd written this other song, and we decided just to call it Gert and Ula oh, and no, put it in no, one no, word no, and it goes Gert and Ula. It's a sort Very of a gypsified good. type thing, okay. so the title lends itself to... I like uh, that tie. Do you like that? Especially yeah. the condition I'm in. You said, you said that last <laughs> time we were on here, you liked his tie. Well, I like him. And he gave it. I can never get round him. I always get that far and then he just blanks I, me. I something. prefer her, actually. I can see why. I can see why. OK, what about a touch of Gert and Ula? Oh, my God. Go. You put us now, hold on, this is early. Now, we don't know how, how much of this we're going to do because the song is about 10 minutes long. But listen, we're with you guys. Where you go? You're not well, you know. It's right here. You want to sing? No, nah, I don't sing it. You want to sing it? Oh, go down. Love, it seems I just can't find. It's not in the tune either, is it? This. Love, it seems I just can't find. I said I'd never do this. Sing about it. 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 Sing about They watch this, wouldn't they? See if we mess up. Do we mess it up? Then? Nah. I might do. <laughs> People wait. Quite long. People wait. They can all Ukrainian. And it goes like that. And it goes on. It's like that. It goes on. Like, I was hanging up. Yeah. Country waking up. Oh, going like that. then. That was good. It does have that sort of flavour about it's it, though. Yeah. yeah. It's got it's a gypsy fried type thing about it. Yeah. But but it's a funny note. Incredibly early to do something like that. They have this tribute to them, do they? Did Sorry. they ever knew Gert and Ulla? No, no they got divorced in the end. <laughs> <laughs> Very soon after we sort of knew them. They were the darlings of this town that we used to hang out in a lot. Well, mm -hmm. one was a darling, wasn't she? Well, Ulla. yeah, she was. I quite like Gert yeah. myself, yeah. but never well, came to much. You like Eamon as well. I'm forgetting to be having a big day. I'm having a big day. No, but a that's party, thing, you know. I mean, you always make it look, I mean, you're always a pleasure to talk to an interview um, down through the years, goodness me. but. Um, because you make it fun. I mean, you really do go out there. I mean, if you, I suppose if you weren't enjoying it, you wouldn't be doing it. No, we have fun and we try to make it look like we're having fun because that appears better. 
but um, we do actually enjoy doing the set. So good. Well, now that we've got you out of bed, it yeah. would be a good idea to make use of you because we've got. We're going to talk about the Beatles later, yeah, aren't we? Yeah, we've got the Rolling Stones and the Rolling Stones, dates. and they've been going and longer uh, than you, apparently. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you can correct us on us on, yeah. on that later, but we're going to be talking about their new dates for, for the UK and whatever. So you stay with us, lads, and we'll talk about that. Certainly. In about twenty minutes' time. That's it. And yeah, we're also going to talk about holidays, which I know is is it's not very good, is it? Really, oh, we're going you, soon. Uh, we're when going do you soon. when do you get holiday? Um, straight after Christmas. Oh, do you? Yeah. You're looking forward to that. Where are you going? Yeah, I don't know yet. Where are you going? <laughs> I don't know, maybe we can sort this one out. <laughs> like you know, if you and, like uh, to go on a holiday, I don't know if the lads have enjoyed this one, uh, because it's a very much a family holiday, and we're going to be talking about that in our Passport to Paradise competition. Um, and it's actually, it's a wonderful place. It's, uh, it's in Hopen Copenhagen. Remember wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen? Anyway, take a look at this. Uh, Gary Holmes, no relation to Eamon, he's 10, and he says, I'm a great fan of status quo. Please say hello to him today. So there well, you go. Hello, Gary. Gary. Hello, Gary. This is like this, but they don't believe us. And yeah, and then another guy here who's uh, Richard Crane, who's 12, uh, another fan. Yeah. So, well, so, much, so much for the Stones there, but uh, 30 years on, we've also got uh, the Beatles. Yeah, so we've got, uh, basically, <coughs> it's, uh, it's uh, status quo and the Rolling Stones, still going strong. But it's almost 25 years since their great rival, the Beatles, split up. To all Beatles fans, this may come as a bit of a surprise. track from the new album from the Beatles which goes on sale tomorrow it's called the Beatles live at the BBC this is it and it features over 56 songs which may have never been heard before and it's quite amazing to think that there's so much material there that's it's never been put out fascinating just to hear that I mean because we all over the years have thought that we've heard everything by the Beatles I thought I had anyway and to hear that I mean it's, all those early it's kind of weird sessions that they used to do they don't seem to do anymore you said earlier they, they they used to take bands in that didn't have contracts and stuff and everybody would go in and do a session and mm. i remember we listened to it the first one we did i think was with brian matthews at the these early more saturday morning bbc things not as early as this but it was early. no not mm. silly early i just early really mm. so there could be undiscovered status quo stuff knocking about somewhere i hope not <laughs> but there is you know. yeah well if there is somebody will bring yeah. it out but i i, I all think these cover versions like johnny be good the hippie hippie shake i mean there's lots, yeah. lots of stuff it's all cavern there. they must have been doing all that stuff at the caverns all the yeah. early days i yeah. don't think there's any doubt that that this will be massive and whatever the single it's going to be. Yeah. I mm -hmm. I stick my neck out. I reckon it'll go number one everywhere in the world. You're you're probably, probably right. Tar Records piece, in it? London tonight is is the place to be because apparently at 2 a.m. this is when this goes on sale and the first um, half dozen or so people through the doors get very special Beatles uh, mementos. Francis and Rick will just finish an Ipswich head down the motorway and uh, be queuing up there. But uh, <laughs> what are we, uh, lads, what thanks are we? very much. Good luck with the rest of the tour. Thank you. And uh, yeah. thanks for coming and talking to us this morning. Especially Ipswich tonight. Yeah. It's going to be a good one. Rocking Ipswich. <laughs> <laughs> right, after the break, the Oz experience as we get our latest holiday postcard from Amanda Eddington. Down under this time. Here on Morton.